This is ABC 7 at 5. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Paul Sikala. And we begin on the border. CBP seized thousands of rounds of ammunition in El Paso this week, but this time it was from Mexico coming into the U.S. And ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez joins us live with the story. Heriberto. Good afternoon, Paul Stephanie. CBP says a 32-year-old Mexican man tried to smuggle the ammo here at the Bridge of the Americas. And another CBP spokesperson told me today that the, it is the largest ammunition bust they have encountered here in El Paso in many years. And Paul Stephanie also in a news release yesterday, CBP says they caught the man after the vehicle passed through X-ray machines and a detection dog alerted officers. They seized 11,000 rounds of 762 ammunition. CBP data shows officers seized more than 3,900 rounds in fiscal year 2024 and more than 3,400 in 2023. Those are busts from Mexico into the U.S. At this fiscal year just started last month and they already seized 11,000 in this week's bust, about triple of the past two years. A spokesperson with CBP also told me today seeing this type of smuggling attempts from Mexico into the U.S. is not common. A former U.S. Marshal explained to me why this may have happened. My thoughts are that the ammunition was going to uh, some of those cell groups, Mexican cartel cell groups that are here in the United States, which tells me uh, that the Mexican cartel cell groups are having difficulty uh, getting their ammunition here in the United States. So that's what I think uh, is going on. And Paul Stephanie, coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 6, I will break down the numbers of ammunition issues CBP has recorded in past fiscal years here in El Paso and also have more details. I'm reporting live from South Central El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. All right, Heriberto, thank you. 